Hey, it's Tim here. In 23.2, there's a new function called shape type. It essentially allows you to put a geometry into the function and it will return the type of geometry that you're working with. To see how it works, as ever, let's get stuck in. Okay, so here we are. I've actually already calculated the length of some water bodies in a previous video. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead to a new sheet and we're just going to literally open up a calculation window just so I can show you this. It's really that simple. What we need to do is to just highlight the geometry, open up our calculation sort of side panel, and we'll go ahead and type in shape type. And you'll see here that it basically needs a spatial object. And if you double click it, it goes ahead and wraps that up. We'll say uh, this is a shape type. And so if we hit apply and hit OK, we can then go ahead and put this in here. And you can see that this data set has two types of shapes, a line string and a multi-line string. And if we go ahead and get the water body names and put that in front, then they'll actually tell us which of these water bodies is a multi-line string versus a single line string. So there you go. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. What this allows you to do though, is to do some really interesting work when you start to think about how you're pivoting your data. You could, for example, have uh, different types of geometries in a single column and then have this function return what type of geometry that is. And then you could also use that, for example, to filter and work with shapes and polygons and geometries however you want. So if I go ahead and put this shape type in here, you can see that I actually, I'm actually able to filter based on that function. So you can start to do some pretty interesting things depending on what your data set wants you to do. So there you go. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to touch on this function super brief. There's not much more to it. Uh, you guys can find all the creative ways of working with it. But there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.